Alright y'all, so you might have seen this already on some other videos, but I'm going to walk you through it and give you my honest opinion on it. It's the developer tools menu. You can get it for free um, on the Fire Stick. All you got to do to go get it is come over here to your looking glass, uh, magnifying glass, whatever, and just start to spell developer. It'll pop up right there, developer tools menu. You just want to click on that. So what this is going to do is after you install it, it goes through everything. What's it going to do is it's basically a group of, uh, of other apps that are good for like utilizing to maximize your you know your speed and and what's going on on your device so the developer opposite developer tools menu so this gives you a quick system x-ray right this is just basically telling you what your system is doing right now so you know in the middle where it has the memory I have 1.1 gig space I'm using 423 right now I have 21.2 available well, I'm sorry other way around I have tw I'm using 21.3 megabytes and I have 425.7 available um, same thing with if on the far left, you'll see that's my internet connection. It gives you an idea what's going on there. It shows you your CPU, what's going on there. So it shows that your your device is not overworking itself. It's not trying to do a bunch of shit that, you know, you're just like maybe you're just trying to ask it to do way too many things at one time. This will let you know that. I would not leave the system x-ray on because when you do, it stays on everything. So make sure that you do turn it off if you do want to use it. Um, so that way it's not getting in your way on things So you can go through these apps and they will pop up like this and it'll give you a brief description So I recommend reading it seeing if it fits any of your needs um, Gives you some screenshots. You can kind of see you know what to expect from it and all that good stuff The one that I did use um, I or I did download to show you guys was a list background apps and process list so this is pretty much Okay, so it's supposed to be like a shortcut to all your apps really but you can simply hold down your your home button and you can go over here to your settings and access the same thing because it's just gonna bring you to the same menu see like if you click on something it's just gonna bring you to the same menu so I mean it kind of uh, I mean because even this the same steps you would take to get here you could take those same amount of steps and get it through the the regular way so that way is kind of you know different or whatnot so you know in, in the course up here at the top it gives you um, you know a little more options to play with and, and such like that so the notification center is basically just that um, like it says uh, quickly access notification center on your fire TV fire stick all models um, like I said it gives you a quick description it's just basically gonna take you right back to your already in your settings that you already have so I wouldn't really necessarily call it a shortcut. Um, I guess it just makes it, if you have it all right here, I guess easy accessible, but I don't know, not to me anyways. The speed test does come in kind of handy. Um, I personally have a different one that I, I feel more confident with. Um, and not anything against this one, because obviously I have not downloaded I have not tried it. But the one that I have has never given me any problems, and that one is free as well. Um, and that's that's this one here. So the one I use is just the internet speed test, and you can get that too, um, just by going up here to the looking glass, and you can just put in, um, actually you can just put in any speed tester, and you can just put in speed, and it'll give you two right here, speed test. Um, this one's a good one, and of course the one that I use, um, I trust that one, uh, but there's lots of other ones, so I would recommend maybe um, getting maybe like two or three of them, and when you ain't got nothing really going on and just try them both uh, or try them all write down the speeds and find uh, you know which ones are pretty much accurate and and work best for you um, as you can see there's tons of them so I mean my personal opinion is the developer tools menu um, it's not a must-have um, it's not a big necessity for you to have it does make it a little more convenient if you're trying to figure things out Like I said the only real upside I see to it is in my opinion Is it the speed tester if you don't have it and is the system x-ray because that gives you an instant look at what's going on You know instantly inside your device um, So like I said man, it's up to you guys. Um, it doesn't hurt to have it on there um, 
Then again, you don't really want to keep loading up your device, especially if it's just like a basic second generation Fire Stick. Uh, you kind of want to save as much memory as possible for um, for like the app so that way you can stream your live TV and all that stuff. So I hope this helps you guys out. Enjoy.